And here's your warm-up quiz. Things are getting a little bit different. So when you've got your questions with your triangle, I'm now introducing some situations where two answers are correct. Right, and in this case, the examples below, we have two correct answers to choose from. You could circle them and you get a point. If you circle in between, that's how you get maximum points. So some triangles are just going to be the normal ones where there's one correct answer, and you either circle the correct answer or if you're not sure, you circle in between. And some questions may be in the future with two correct answers. If you think there's two correct answers, you should circle in the middle of them to get maximum points. Right, pen's ready. Um, and let's go. This first one doesn't have any triangles at all, but it's got three little mini questions. And for the following three situations, you need to write down, does the object have balanced or unbalanced forces on it? So pause to work through these as I move on to question two. Okay, which formula would you pick to solve the following? You don't even need to solve it, just which formula would you pick? If a car accelerates from rest at 5 metres per second squared, how far does the car travel in 8 seconds? So pause to think that one through as I move on to question 3. Okay, which physics model might be useful to solving a problem like this one? So a car is moving down a 20 degree ramp at a constant speed. Which physics model might be useful to solve this one? Might pause to think about it as I move on to question number four. So sometimes in physics we combine two formulas together. So for example, uh, kinetic energy is the first one, equals half mv squared. And then the next one's gravitational energy, equals uh, mass times gravity times height. When you combine those two, you get the formula below, mgh equals half mv squared. I want you to take that combined formula and I want you to rearrange it to make V the subject. So pause the video while you work through that question. I'm going to move on to the answers. So answer number one. So when you have um, looking if it's unbalanced or balanced forces, you're just thinking about is it a constant speed or acceleration? So the first one, even though it's moving up, it's moving up at a constant speed, so it's balanced forces. This is falling down. It doesn't matter if it's falling down. The, what matters is it's accelerating. There's no air resistance. You can see the acceleration lines there. It must be unbalanced. And now it's falling at a constant velocity. There must be air resistance balancing the gravity. One mark for each. Question or answer number two. Um, so the first of all, the car accelerates. This formula here is a, a constant speed formula. So you can't use that for this. Uh, accelerates from rest, that means initial velocity equals zero. We're given the acceleration. We want to work out how far it goes, and they tell us the time. So which formula has all these four in it? It's this one down here. Right, which model might be useful? The cars move at a constant speed. So I can use the constant velocity model, but also we know at a constant speed the forces are balanced. So in this case, depending on what they're going to ask me in this, would um, allow my brain to think which model will I use, but from the information given, all I know is that I can use both. And so, for maximum points here, for five points, you would have picked in the middle. Okay, we're going on to answer number four. So, I want to take this and I'm going to be up here with plenty of room. MGH equals half mv squared. I want to make v the subject. I'm going to get rid of the m first, and you'll see why in a second, because I've seen this m's on either side. So I, to get rid of m, I need to divide both sides by m. And what I do is m divided by m cancels out. So actually now, I've got gh equals half v squared. That's why I got rid of the m's first, because I knew they'd cancel. I'm going to get rid of the times half. Um, another, well, the opposite of times a half is times 2. If I both multiply both sides by 2, it'll cancel that half there. So now I'm left with 2gh equals v squared. And then to get rid of the squared, I square root. So I've got 2gh all square rooted equals v. Three marks when you got that. Great, I'll see you in the lesson.